Hello YouTube, I am APC, and today I'm coming out another tutorial. This tutorial is basically a combination of the platform tutorial and the, the make something point towards the mouse tutorial. Um, we're not going to really go um, talk about platforming very much, but you would really only use this trick in a platforming game. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a player. He's going to have arm that separate object, and the arm will be pointing towards the mouse. And I'm going to teach you how to make it sh shoot nicely with that arm. So create sprite. First sprite we're gonna make is SPR player. I'm not gonna make it very nice, just let's see. Let's make a quick box. There. Now the important part is is that you make a little marking for where you want the arm. So I'm gonna try and go in the center. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, five. This will work. So here's our marking. This is this is where I want the arm to come out. Um, probably looks a little bit weird, but we'll just go with it. I'm I'm sure you'll have something nicer for your game. All right, so that's the player. Now I'm going to create a sprite. This one's going to be the arm. So first off, the most important part for the arm is that you have a little circle for the um, where you want it to be on the player. Like we made the marking on on the player. So this little circle I'm making right now is going to go straight on top of the marking. So then ma make the rest of your arm accordingly. Like so. I'm going to give it a little bit different color so that you can tell the difference. Alright. That's it for the arm. So once you make the game, we're going to have the, the x y value of the arm be the same as x y value of the player. So in order for them to align correctly, you have to make sure that the reference point for the player is where you want the arm to be. So I think that's about right. If it's not right, I'll notice soon. And for the arm, I also want to make it about the center of the circle. Yeah, it's close enough. So now I'm going to create another sprite. I'm not going to use it for a while, but for now, I'll just create it. Call it SPR Bullet. Click Edit Sprite. Add some image. doesn't need to be 32 by 32, so I need to make it, let's say, Let's finish your bullet, exit out of there, and let's create the player object first. There we go, now let's go into the step event. I don't want to take the time to add all platforming features to this, so I'm just going to have move left and right mouse to go through all the gravity and stuff like that. If you want to learn about that, you can refer to my platforming tutorial. So type down if keyboard check, pk left. X minus equals minus equals five. So if the left button's pressed, move five pixels to the left. Now for this next one, the second one, let's do the right and add five. Here we go. That's all for that. Now let's create another object. Call this one OBJ arm. OBJ arm. Now in this event. First, we're going to make it follow the player's every move. So in order to do that, we need to do x equals obj player.x and y equals ob, obj player.y. Next, we're going to make a point towards the mouse. I've gone in detail on how to do this in a previous tutorial. So if you don't understand it completely, then you can refer to that. Or if you uh, would like to know how to do this without pro, you can go to that as well. Uh, image angle equals point direction x y uh, mouse x mouse y y so basically the saying is point from the, where you are towards the mouse I'll explain it more detail in the video now we're going to create the bullet, so, but before we do that, let's set the depth of the arm to negative 1. This way, the arm will be above the bullet when you shoot. So now let's create the bullet object. It's OBJ bullet. Select the bullet. And... Uh, in the creation event, let's just... Set speed equal to uh, 10. Let's make it a little slower. Eight. And um, have direction 
equal obj arm dot image angle. This way to go in the right direction. All right. So now let's create room. All we need to do is add the player, and we'll add the arm. One thing I forgot. I haven't told you how to make the bolt yet. In order to do that, just go to go to the arm, click add event, mouse, global mouse, left button, and just put down instance create x y obj bolt. Good. Now let's get going. Alright, so I see the arm is pointing towards my mouse. Great. If I hit the mouse keys, the um, player moves. And if I click, the bolts are created. Okay. Um, one thing you might notice about the bolts is that it's shooting very quickly, like abnormally quickly. I'm gonna I want to teach you how to fix that. And another thing is that you can see that it kind of overlaps with the, um, with the uh, arm a little bit. I, I don't have it centered like I should and forgot to do that, but even if it was centered, it would still be too big for the arm to hold. So I'm going to teach you how to fix that as well. So the first thing, I'm going to teach you how to change the rate of fire. Second thing, I'm going to teach you how to um, make the shooting look real. So first off, before I do anything, let's, let's center this so that it will come from the right source. So now the first thing, I'm going to change the rate of fire. In order to do that, I go to OBJ arm, go to the creation event, and I'm going to create a new variable. I'm going to call it can shoot. And I'm going to set it to true for the movie. This variable just basically says whether it can shoot or not. So in global left, we're going to put down if can shoot equals true, then do that. Otherwise, it shouldn't do anything. Then once this is done, we want, we don't want shoot anymore. So then put down can shoot equals false. And then in order to make sure that you can shoot again, we're gonna say alarm zero equals let's say five. The long the bigger you make this number right here, the longer, the more sparsely the player will shoot. So now let's set our alarm zero event. And in this case, let's say can shoot equals equals true. All right. So now it should be able to shoot less quick, less rapidly. Next thing, go to OBJ bullet. Uh, so what we're basically going to do is, um. Make sure that the bolt teleports to the point where it's supposed to be shooting from. Because you're not supposed to be able to see it before that. And earlier we could. So, if you go into the creation event. A um, little thing about speed. Speed is the amount of pixels it travels in one step. So, if we set the... The, the arm is roughly 32 pixels long, so if we set the speed thir to 32 pixels, then it will cover the length of the arm in one step. So then, after that, we can set alarm is 0 equal to 1. So once it's um, the once it's past the arm, we'll have to go back to normal speed again in alarm 1. So let's go to alarm 0. And then we'll say speed equals, let's say, 12. All right. So now, when I'm shooting, as you can see, it comes right out of the arm like a solicitude. It looks a lot nicer. And it's not shooting like a spray gun anymore. Or, I guess it's still a spray gun, but it's not like a whole line of fire. Or, but, yeah, whatever. So, that's all for this tutorial. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I can now mark this off the list. If you have any mo more ideas for these tutorials, if you have any more tutorials for me to try, then... You know, send me a message and I'll and I'll get them done as quickly as I can, because suggestions are my top priority. So please write, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.